Hello and welcome to my channel. Uh, today a fun and very silly project. Uh, yes, that is a toilet seat lid. And um, if you don't know what the uh, symbol is, I'd suggest you go ask your grandkids. No, I'm thinking of this for like a cottage or, uh, you know, an outhouse. Uh, it, it's just a silly thing. But even if you don't want to do this exact project, um, I can show some um, interesting techniques and also I'm using all free software. So let's get started. So uh, to start we uh, open up uh, Inkscape and we pull in our, uh, our picture from the internet. Um, so helps um, you see that I, uh, I changed the uh, document uh, size to make it um, make it the same size as I want my project. This, this doesn't affect uh, anything when you uh, import it into Fusion 360, but uh, it just it helps you uh, keep it all lined up and how you want it to look. So now I'm gonna do the lettering. Now I could do the lettering in 360, but it's just you get more control if you use uh, Inkscape and, and put it all together. Plus you're gonna, that way you know exactly how your, uh, your project is gonna look. So uh, once you get everything uh, sized the way you want it, uh, the next step is to vectorize. You have to. You can't use JPEGs or letters in uh, to cut your uh, project. You have to have vectors. So to do that, once we get our size correct here. So then we choose our JPEG and we go up and we uh, pick trace bitmap. And uh, so then we're going to trace it. We only have two colors, so we just set this to two. You can do an update to see the, what it's going to look like. And then you say, okay. Now it always looks like it hasn't done anything, but it's actually there. And you'll see that you're, uh, your vector is on top and underneath is your the um, JPEG that you started with. So the way you can tell is if you pick the vector thing, you can see that it's made out of vectors, whereas the JPEG is not. So just delete the, uh, delete the JPEG because you don't need it anymore. So for the letters, you have to go to uh, Object to Path. And that'll convert the letters into vectors. And you can close that screen because you don't need it. So under Path, or, uh, uh, Object to Path. So, and then you can see here that we have um, the letters vectorized. So, um, so the last step is just to uh, line everything up the way you want it. And then, uh, then we'll save it as a, uh, as an Inkscape uh, file. And then we'll move on to Fusion 360. So in Fusion, what we have to do is uh, we have to create a, a body in order to put our uh, pattern on in order to engrave it on our, our project. So we'll start with a sketch, put it on a plane, uh, create a um, square. and make it the size of your, whatever your project is. Mm -hmm. 
and then it's Q for extrude. And I usually make this about 19 millimeters, which is three quarters of an inch. So, okay, so now that we have our body, we can bring on our pattern. So we'll create a sketch on our, uh, our body and import an SVG and choose the pattern that we created in uh, Escape. So now as you can see it, it comes in small it doesn't matter what size it is and when you make it in Inkscape because you'll have to size it uh, for what you want here. Get it positioned where you want it. Then it's uh, Q again for extrude. Now here you have to be careful of uh, where, what you're going to pick. Because it'll change the, uh, the way your drawing is done. So you may have to play with this a bit. Which is the best things to pick. And don't forget the little, uh, little dots in, in the R's and that sort of thing. Make sure they're all they're picked. Sometimes it misses those. So I usually extrude it to uh, like minus three. Doesn't really matter, minus two. And say okay. So there, here you can see if you turn the sketch off and spin it, you can see we have, uh, have our pattern in our wood. So the next thing is to uh, to do the tool pass and cam. So now we got to uh, create a setup. And uh, you choose your, um, I usually choose X, Z, X um, coordinates. And for this particular project, I'm going to choose the center as my uh, workspace origin. So um, then our stock, um, well, we're just going to make that the uh, size of our carving with, uh, with no offset. So we say okay to that. Now we're gonna pick our, uh, our tool path. And for this, we're gonna use engraving. So now we're gonna pick our tool. And for this, we're gonna use a 60 degree V-bit. So now we have to pick our pattern so we'll pick the, we're, and we're picking the top of the carving, not the uh, bottom of the carving. So the way uh, engrave works in fusion is it it basically it sees the, the lines, it sees a closed circle and it'll carve between those lines. And of course, don't forget the little bits like uh, the little thing in the R. So now we go to heights. So 
So for heights, the top height, we're just going to make that the uh, stock top. And for our bottom height, we're going to make that the uh, stock top and just minus uh, three millimeters. Okay, and then once we have a tool path, now we want to simulate. So now you can see here the way it's carving is that it's it's not uh, for the letters. It's not carving out the entire letter. It's leaving the little bit in between. So you may you may want to leave it like that, but um, I prefer a full letter. So what we're going to do is we'll edit this, and we'll go to our uh, our heights tab again, and we'll increase negatively. The, uh, so we'll put in minus four. So that way um, it's going to go down a little farther. And that'll never, it'll never carve past the lines. It'll never carve past that, but it will carve up to it. So here you see we got, it's a little bit still there. So we can, we can still stand to go a little bit more. I mean, it depends what you want it to look like. So that's why it's so important to uh, simulate. So actually, this is looking pretty good. So that looks pretty good. Um, so the next step is to uh, post-process our file and then um, we'll, uh, we'll put it in easel and carve it. Now, before I uh, carved this, I um, I added a uh, a layer of contact um, um, clear uh, paper. Um, you can get a roll at um, at Home Depot for like twenty bucks or something, big roll. And I put that on, and that'll make it easier um, for when we go to paint it later. So here is our uh, completed project um, using uh, Inkscape and Fusion 360. So I hope, I hope you learned something um, that you can use in your future projects. Um, if you have any questions, put them down in the comments. And of course, like, subscribe. You know what to do.